I am Dr. Ranjan Shetty. I am lead cardiologist at Sparch and Fentry Road. I am also the medical director for the group. Today I am here to talk about CT angiogram and most of you are aware of CT coronary angiogram. It's been one of the tests which is of value for a lot of people. So I am here to tell who should get it done and how to do it. Let's start with how to do it. It's an OPD procedure. It's like any other CT scan. The only difference here is most of the time heart rate needs to be a little low and a dye will be injected but current dyes are very safe. Who should do CT Anjo? It should be people who are at intermediate risk. They can't be high risk. High risk ones need Anjo. So intermediate risks are typically people above 40 years of age, diabetic, people who smoke, people who have cholesterol which is higher, people with family history, people who want to do very intense exercise like running marathons and cycling, doing a Ironman. So these people could be at a risk for a sudden heart attack. When a CT is done and if it comes normal, zero blockage, zero calcium, their next five year heart attack risk is negligible. It's a good test to reassure people. It's also done for people who keep coming back with chest pain and we don't know whether they have a heart disease or no. But the real advantage of CT would be to pick up people with minor blocks so that we can start the treatment right away, thereby reducing their future risk of heart attack or angioplasty or stenting.